Hello my beautiful people, today we're going to be reacting to and reviewing the new Hobbs and Shaw trailer. From the beginning of time, I've been a really big fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise, so to have this spin-off is really exciting. I love Jason Statham and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's always going to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I don't care what anyone says. But before I get um, overly excited about this trailer, it's right in front of me, so we're just going to play it. Idris, I love him too. Your sister took something from me. A virus. It could wipe out half the population, and I want it back. Do you want to tell me just what we're dealing with here? It's my sister. Family business. When it's the fate of the world, it becomes my business. This whole thing sounds really dodgy. Look after your sister. Listen, I'll handle it. The only way we survive is working together like a team. Let's do this. Buckle up, fat boy. On my three. He got daddy's muscle. Whoa! Hey, see the look on his face? You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do that. Yeah, this one's The music's already started. Let's see if we can get it sick. So you guys are being hunted by an army of mercenaries led by a genetically enhanced soldier. Look at me. I'm Black Superman. You're crazy. Damn. He really is Black Superman. You need to get off the grid. Where? I'm sorry to bring trouble to your mama, but I need my brothers. Oh, this, this is gonna be so cool. He's going to war. We're gonna need cars and guns. Mama, where's uh, all our guns? Uh, I can't read of them. We're noble, Mrs. Hobbs. Oh, I know it's serious trouble. Oh my god. Let's get old school. No, come on. Oh, the hacker. Uh, of course, I have to show a shot of that. That's typical of Fast and the Furious. Oh my God! Come on, man. Guys, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. It, it looked amazing. I love that they, um, <laughs> they, um, calling, uh, Idris the Black Superman. <laughs> it's just amazing. So, it's, it's so strange because I almost feel like I watched a little bit of a superhero movie, like a superhero trailer, sorry. You have the scene where The Rock literally pulled down a helicopter. 
a helicopter, guys. <laughs> he yanked it down like it was nobody's business. I, I'm always going to be stuck on calling Dwayne The Rock Johnson The Rock. I Sorry, guys. Um, I love I love the band time that, that happens in between, uh, like, the, the serious scenes. Like, they've got a crazy virus that's going to be released that was stolen by, J like, Jason Statham's sister in the, in the movie, in the trailer, or the, the movie, actually, as well. There are a lot of nods. Is it called Nos or Nas? Nos. Nos. I remember one of the first Fast and the Furious movies. You always remember, you know, Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, and they're like button pressing with a nos. I'm I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, I just figured out how to change the oil and the water in my car, and I kind of understand how to change a tire, but whether I can actually do it is questionable. You know what I mean? But doesn't mean I don't love the movies. They they did have a few scenes with um, the garage scenes. They're reminiscent of Fast and the Furious movies when they're picking out the cars. I love that Dwayne The Rock Johnson goes to New Zealand <laughs> and does the hucker. That scene was just over the top hilarious and they go into the shed and his mother's traded in. She sold all the guns and they've got spears. It's just... I think the comedy is on par with the action and the action is insane like if you're here for a believable movie where Dwayne the Rock Johnson doesn't fall down helicopters from the sky <laughs> this is not the movie for you right but coming from someone like me who just you know people when I was young they were watching like fairy tale movies and um you know, I don't know, what did girls watch when they were young? I don't know, what's like a, a movie that girls liked? Uh, I know my friends would be talking about like ponies and, uh, I don't know, princesses. And I just like liked action movies. I just, I thoroughly enjoyed seeing people kick the shit out of other people. And I come from a history of loving action movies. So this is right up my alley. I, it's just... Oh, so exciting. I don't get, I can't get over the, the Fast and the Furious movies. Look how many they've made and they're still going strong. They can even make spin-off movies because the character, the, the connection that the people have with the characters is unbelievable. And that's what helps the, the franchise thrive. Um, obviously with the loss of Paul Walker, uh, how sad is that? Like, I'm still so sad about that. Um... What, what a horrible thing to have happened, you know? Such a young, young person, and it was a car accident. How unfortunate. Um, is that the same car that James Dean died in? Because I love James Dean. I'm pretty sure it was the same car. Can someone, you know, set that car on fire and send it into the depths of hell so nobody else drives it? Just delete the car, remove it from existence, and pretend it never happened to the world. We just need to get rid of it. Um... Let me know down below if I'm right. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right. Not is it? I'm not saying it's the exact same car because that car might have been totaled, but the same type of car, just to verify. Uh, it's just, it's looking really good. I love the action sequences. They always look crisp in these movies. Um, the fire scene at the beginning, the banter in between was just amazing. The best part of this is that uh, there was... I th has it been confirmed? Let me know down below. There was a rumour, I'm not sure if it's a confirmed rumour, that Idris will be replacing Will Smith in The Suicide Squad. Now, to be quite honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of the original Suicide Squad. I thought there was a lot to be desired, but there's always hope. There's always hope, right? As far as the cast for this movie, I couldn't be more impressed. I think Idris is, oh my gosh, he's like my dream guy. I love Idris so much. I binge watch Luther all the time. I rewatch it all the time. He just, he does something to my soul. And do you know how they have the ads for Squarespace now? I don't like Squarespace. I'm just going to put that out there. I've used it. I'm not a big fan. I'm a designer and I don't like it. Um... As far as building a website goes, it's not so bad, though. I'm going to be honest. But they have ads where um, Idris is promoting Squarespace. And 
I can never skip them. Oh my gosh, I watched them the whole way through and I love him. I just, I'm enamored by Idris. I love him so much. What a beautiful man. Uh, he just adds such a, he plays a bad guy and the good guy so well. Like he can play both so well. And I think he's so versatile in the type of roles that he he, he can play. Uh, obviously, he fits definitely an action star because he's built like a beast and he just has that look about him. I'm actually looking at a little snap of the trailer. I'm going to put this up here somewhere. And I'm just looking at him and he just is amazing. I love him so damn much. I think um, he just adds so much to this movie. I know... Oh, he's a villain, but I don't care. I don't care. I love that he's got superhuman strength because, you know, he's got a background in superhero movies. Dwayne The Rock Johnson just looking like a damn beast. Have you seen what he eats for a cheat meal? Because I have. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's so much food. It's so disgusting. They're blowing, they're blowing things up. I love that he goes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson goes back for his brothers, that's just, the family vibe is there. And that's a common thing. If you remember, even in the first Fast and the Furious movie, there was that scene where they had the family, the family, uh, was it a Sunday dinner? It was a Sunday dinner and they all held hands and they prayed. And for the longest time, I had the biggest crush on Michelle Rodriguez. I still love Michelle Rodriguez. I love that they bring her back. I know people are like, that's a bit stupid. I'm like, I don't care. If I get to see more of Michelle Rodriguez, girl is down. I'm down. I don't care if they turned it into a resurrection story and it turned into a supernatural theme um, film. I wouldn't have cared. Michelle Rodriguez is life. I love her so much. Um, happy to see this trailer has not disappointed me at all. And it's also dropped at a reasonable time for me. Thank you so much. Uh, for the first time, I didn't have to wake up at 3 in the morning. And I'm loving my life. Um, I think I think I've said enough. Have I said enough? I don't think you can say enough about this movie. But I don't want to bore you guys. It's just... Oh my gosh. It looks so good. There's... I know there wasn't a lot of car racing. But we have to remember that this is a spin-off. It's kind of attached to the Fast and the Furious. It's not called the Fast and the Furious. It's called Hobbs and Shaw. So I feel like there's going to be definite like car scenes. But I feel like it's going to be dominated by action scenes. And I'm sorry if that upsets people. But that's just... It looks like it's going in that direction. This is like my dream cast of men though. Like... It's got something for the guys. We've got the action, the car scenes, the violence. The violence is for me too. I like the violence. Um, but for the women, we've got some great eye candy. This movie is just, it's, its audience is so vast. I don't, I don't think uh, anyone can dislike this or despise it. I think it's so exciting. I'm so excited. Uh, this is one of the movies that I'm really excited for. I know it's shameless, shameless action, but I shamelessly love action movies. I don't mind at all. All right, I'm going to leave it there because who's dropped off? A lot of people. <laughs> we lost a lot of people. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to mention that if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe so you can join the family and we can run together. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. If you have anything to add, the comment section's there for you. Trust me. And I love to read it. Your comments have been so amazing as of recent. The support and the love goes a long way. Not so much the ones about my physical appearance. They're a bit cringy. Please don't do that in my comment section. I throw up a bit in my mouth. I'm engaged. Just if you didn't know, now you know. Engaged. Please don't do that. Um, also, if you didn't know, I'm active on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you'd like to go follow me there, I'd love to have you. But until next time, my absolutely beautiful human beings, I'll see you all later. Bye.